people, 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 people. Can't pass a sock, pass, say what they do. Now, all the women that are victims of ABUSE, that have been in all sorts of relationship with all sorts of sick, psychopathic men, they are celebrating today because we saw that a man and his name is Marvin Watson and he is from Waterford, Portmore, a.k.a. Spread Out. That is his alias. He was juke in the neck by his baby mother and people. This is exactly what happened. Based on reliable source and people, this is credible information and this is also exclusive. It is said that the baby mother was washing when Mr. Spread Out approached her and some sort of argument ensued and it is said that he had some sort of farm utensils, cutlass, machete, whatever you want to call it and him start to slap slap her up. However, people, it seems as if she had planned for him and as soon as him basically strike after her, she juke him in her neck and people spread out was spread it out. We are talking about pan the ground, we are talking about top out. Now, based on the information, it is said that this lady had reported spread out on several occasions to the Popo in a Portmore, saying that he is assaulting her. He is B E A T I N G her up all the time. However, people, the Popo did not do anything. However, people like them say, one day for you, the next day for me. So, dear, for all the trouble, all the torment, all the psychological, all the emotional stress that he put this lady through. She was planning for him and people. She done said to herself, listen, the next time this boy will lick me, I am going to take him out and people. So said, so done. Now people, I've said this on several occasions. When it comes to the issue of domestic, in Jamaica, it seems as if the government of Jamaica, the police, the relevant authorities, they are ill-prepared. They are not professionally trained because we see a lot of times it takes a woman to get A-B-U-S-E-D several times and then after it goes to the extreme, it goes to the worst extent, she loses her life. After making several reports to the Popo station, after calling the Popo station all the time, we see that they not do nothing because as far as they are concerned, it seems if you're still alive, you are okay. It is not really an issue until you actually lose your life. And we see that lately in a 2019, 2020, 2021 especially. We see that it has escalated. So therefore, this tells you that this is some sort of priority. This tells you that this is an emergency situation. This tells you that this is an issue that Jamaica needs to deal with. However, people, it seems as if everything is falling on deaf ears. And until a lady or some women lose their life, nothing is going to be done on people. In this case, we see said this lady take up her case in her own hands. And she got the justice that she thought that she deserved. And people like me say, the court, the justice system will have to sort this out. But more than likely, when this goes to court, she is going to beat it. Hands down, point blank and period. Now, it is not just the ladies, the victims that are celebrating this man's loss or loss of life. We saw that JPS is also celebrating because it is said that this man, Mr. Spread Out, he is famous, he is fearless for bridging light. We are talking about JPS light. He basically hook up people on the main line of JPS and he charges them a fee. However, they don't have any sorts of bill. And it is also said that the party promoters in a port more specifically, he is the one, he is a link, he is a plug. So therefore, whenever they are keeping any sort of party, he is the one that they call. However, people, it seems as if they made their last call and people like them say, last call for life. As it pertains to Mr. Watson, as it pertains to spread out because he is gone. He exists no more. We are speaking about the same baby mother when he was a cough cough up, she take him out. So people, we are speaking about justice. We are speaking about revenge point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up 
Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a man that is wanted by the St. Andrew South Popo, he was captured by the Popo in a St. Thomas. Now, based on the information, it is said that 47 year old government named Raymond Gowie that goes by the name alias Brian Davis. So, anyways, people, when the Pope were accosted this man and asked him for his name and identification, he presented a California identification. California, we are talking about United States. However, the Pope did not believe, like I said, it seems as if more than likely they got some sort of information that this man was in St. Thomas. However, the Pope went to his house and when they searched his house, they found birth certificate, they found driver's license, they found other different photo identification. In other name, we are talking about him, government name, Raymond Gowie. Now, people, when you think about something like this, the fact that this man is 47 year old and the fact that he also has a California identification, people, that means that this man more than likely is a deportee. And like I said, he is 47 year old presently. So therefore, more than likely, it seems as if he has been a crime producer for a very long time. Him do all sorts of crime in Jamaica. Then he went to the United States and him do the same thing. And him get back deported or he was living over there in some sort of hiding. Because people at 47, we would think that the average criminal would be in retirement. So anyways, people, the moral of the story is this. We see that this man has been a crime producer for a very long time in a Jamaica. So therefore, in Bada Yard. And more than likely, if you check his record in California, you would see that he is warned. He has some sort of warrant in a California. Because people, when people bother Jamaica and them runway, when they go to foreign, they do the same thing. They basically amp it up. So more than likely, and people, like I said, I don't have any evidence to substantiate this claim. I am just assuming. I am just speculating. So the point that I am trying to make is that I am sure if the poor poor run him identification in a California and link with the law enforcement authority in America, they would find that this man is also wanted. So I say this to say that it is good news that we get off a crime producer off of the road and we see that he has been wanted in a St. Andrew South and people, you know, so when you talk about St. Andrew South, we are talking about the worst of the worst and the fact that this man is wanted for all sorts of shooting, all sorts of slap away. People, it is happy redundance and hopefully he will get the time that he truly deserves and hopefully justice will basically take its course point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.